you don't jump in there and just do it, you won't know whether you're going to succeed or you're going to fail. Just try it. Nothing in between. How do you say that in Somali? <laughs> ومودي <تصفيق> ها سيفي عاية أمك الشيء والله بأسبوع ما أهل الله بلوت ما أهل الله بسنة دوت وحن كهرب يا الله بأسبوع كلية بس حتى ما محيس ما يسي سي أي شغل وجه الشو الله بأسبوع كلية محيس قبته محيس ما يسا حاجة كش قيسا محاس شغل أوسه لي هي سؤال أكبر من أقبته ما توه أقرب من دونتان برنامج كان إسقاع سقطة كوكي نشاها حصل نامي قن كاري أبو جالا ديا أنقاء إن هذا جلسة البرنامج كان بلاو إلا دمات خاصة وحنو بعنا جبها سومالية إن أي دار بعنا يوجيان صارت رأ جبها هنا ودد جبها دارية رنتي كتيلة أقوم في عنه شقلو دو برنتهاي مسكح دو رأيه كتيلو رأي عادي دو برنتهاي وحن أنا سنة هاي إن أي تي وهي هاي برنامج هو ناقصن أو جبها بدن كورا ما هذا ما أنتم لكن جبها بدن كورا وح بدن كعوانية إن إيش غفض الهلان حافظ ذلك شقيان بل كستأي جوان إن شاء الله تعالى هذا وحد رسول الله يسان جمادة ما أنت مقتل من الوقوع أو كم إذا حد جها كخلي جبيه كأفلحي ولي بكتا جلابل ند أو مدلة أي بجنا يسحتها أي سنة مين هالبيل لكن ما أنت نسيبنا هل كان أي جوتو أي فدو سي أي إذا لو لاكتو جدي سعود كذي أما هاي جاني إنتك سكتة هذا بقى رسول الله يا زهير فكيت أو هل كان جوب جوكو أ أوكي زهير كسر دو برنامج كان وحكوا دعوني ضد بلن أو برنامج كان هذا رونتي توصل قطحن من عزوم من على فيسبوك so Before you started IT, Bilalim, before you started IT, of course you had other uh, education background, mm -hmm. uh, you had other qualifications, you gained other qualifications, of course maybe you did some other jobs. Mm -hmm. So can you share with us briefly uh, what you did before you came to Global and before you joined the tech sector? Um, I graduated with a neuroscience degree. Mm -hmm. And um, after that, I was told I'll have to do postgraduate and mm -hmm. then my master's in order to work within that field. Mm -hmm. So I decided that I didn't want to continue in that path. So therefore, I didn't do anything. I didn't do no postgraduate or anything. I found a job mm -hmm. in retail, worked there for a year, and then I went on to do a full botanist course. And I worked as a full botanist for close to a year, I think. Mm -hmm. And then I contacted you. I heard you through my father, actually. <laughs> So let me stop here. You said you did a degree based on neuroscience. Neuroscience. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to do my young age. Really? Yeah. At school, I wanted to do and become a, a neuroscientist. neuroscientist yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, not unfortunately, but yeah. gladly. <laughs> I mean, tech sector at the moment. Uh, it's a better choice, trust me. Uh, I think better choice. Yeah, better it's choice. a better choice. Yeah. 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 Not in terms of money, not in terms of uh, job style, but mm -hmm. in terms of helping yeah. the Somali community. It really is. Uh, Alhamdulillah, in London, and we help so many, so many people. Mm -hmm. and we empowered, we motivated, and we train them in order to join the tech sector. Yeah, sure. And that yeah. what makes me. <laughs> Proud. Unique. Unique and yeah. It's like right. right. you're the only Somali that I know who's actually trying to do something for the other Somalis. Somali. Yeah, and encouraging them I to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now there are there are actually a lot of students. Yeah, there are lots of students, yeah. <laughs> there are lots of students <laughs> who go, oh, I keep from going over nets now, and I'm like, oh god, I'm one of them as well. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. That's why success man, that takes place. Uh, global, mm -hmm. mashallah. People yeah. ask me how we can be people are getting jobs as soon as they join the tech uh, and the, the global. And I say, Alhamdulillah, that's a brak in Allah. Yeah? It really so, is. placing from Allah subhanahu wa yeah. ta'ala. Uh, and also the good heart and yeah. honesty and integrity and all of that. And hard work. So, of course, and hard work. Yeah. Yeah. So, when you join, before you join the class, of course, uh, the global, that you did some, uh, kind of some jobs. You said mm -hmm. retail. Yeah, I did uh, retail. What sort of and retail? Then 
just basic retail. Basic retail. Yeah. And what, what else? And then I did full bottomy, like taking oh. people's bloods. I uh, do. You know, I, I hate. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I hate getting my blood taken, but I don't mind taking your blood. <laughs> Yeah. Because you're not, you're not feeling the pain somehow, that's I know, why. Right? Yeah, 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 but once you uh, give blood, uh, yeah. you have to go through the it's process. A, it's a different pain. And that is pain. Yeah, it's, it's a not, different pain. Yeah, so, yeah. And, and, and I did that a few times. Really? Uh, I think last time was before the COVID. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lucky you. It was feel. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and um, if I ask you, Mahara um, Zuhaira, IT. What is the the and I had to start tech and why? Oh, okay. I always liked IT to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, doing it in GCSE, mm -hmm. uh, it was one of the subjects which I got the highest grades for. Mm -hmm. But then um, my older sister did IT, and my dad was like, "You already have one IT. You do science." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's how I went into science field. And then I was like, oh, "I haven't really enjoyed it as much." Mm -hmm. So when I heard about your course through my dad, he was actually trying to encourage my sister and my brother to do it and mm -hmm. I overheard them and I was like wait a minute that's something I want to do mm -hmm. so I looked into it and I looked into all of your courses and I was like I can definitely do this mm -hmm. and then I got in contact with you mm -hmm. I tried to contact you in I think it was 2020 mm -hmm. but then we couldn't get a hold of each other mm -hmm. and then um, I finally got in contact with you this year mm -hmm. and then you were like okay go to my oh. website just fill out the form which mm -hmm. is very simple yeah very easy yeah very easy <laughs> Uh, if you know yourself and you know who you are, yeah. that's it, you can fill out the form, okay. <laughs> unless you're saying yeah. you're someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I filled out the form, you got in contact with me, you're like, um, there's going to be a Zoom link, um, make sure you join, and then, alhamdulillah, here I am. <laughs> you're here today, yeah. uh, sharing your story with us, mashallah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And I saw Muna sitting here. She, Muna, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was about how many weeks ago? It was like my first week. Uh, I think, think about four weeks ago. Yeah. I saw her video and I was like, oh wow, mashallah, like if a girl can do it, so like one of course I can, I do, can it. do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw this particular chair and I was like, oh wow, I'm going to sit in that chair. <laughs> but I'm not going to be interviewing me. And then on the first week we had the class, uh -huh. I told you this. Uh -huh. I said, like, I'm going to get a job and I'm going to be sitting in this chair. Okay. <laughs> but you didn't believe me. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Uh, I remember you said that man, one day I will sit on that chair. <laughs> I know. I didn't, it, I didn't, man, have didn't process that. it. I didn't yeah. imagine that will happen within two weeks, to be honest. <sighs> I thought maybe another six months, maybe in 2023. Yeah. Oh, who knows? Yeah, you I didn't think I was going to like you the way I did, though. Yeah. <laughs> I was on your case, to be honest. I was mm. like, man, I need to do this. I need to do this. And you're like, okay, you'll get there. You'll get there. Take it slowly. <laughs> And even when you got your first IT job, you said, Man, do you know the title of my video? <laughs> How I got my first tech job within two weeks. I know. Even you selected <laughs> the title I, of your I, video. I wrote my destiny for myself. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I was That's... like, yeah. And you were like, are you sure? Are you sure you got the job? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, man, I got the job. And I told my mom, I was like, Man, did not believe that I got the job. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what's more funny? The second time I'm seeing you. I know. The second time. I know. First time you came, you said uh, last Saturday yeah, before like, that. Do you recognize me? You, you, do you, you said, yes, yeah, do you know me? And you do recognize me. And <laughs> then I uh, listened carefully and I said, yeah, you as well. <laughs> Surprised that you, you came really, to collect the books. Yeah, I came to collect the books. Because you did most of the call classes uh, from, from home, from, from, yeah, from, uh, from, from my bedroom. From bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, before we continue, tell us how do you find doing the courses from online? Because now a lot of people jump from online uh, around the globe, mm -hmm. uh, outside of the UK, inside the UK, in different cities. Yeah. So you did the courses and still you're doing the courses yeah. through online. Yeah. So how is your experience doing the courses online? To be honest, um, I'm the kind of person that um, works at my own speed. Mm -hmm. So I had no pressure of actually being like looked at by other students or getting uncomfortable. I was by myself, I was taking my notes and yeah, whatever you said, I took note of it. If I didn't see it in the book, I was like, wait a minute, he mentioned something. Let me just quickly make a note next to whatever you said. And you actually mentioned quite a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a lot of students did not pick up, which was surprising. Like the first week you were like, oh, you get to do active directory, you get to do this, this and that. And then the second week, 
I'm in, no, it was a um, network class and I told you, I was like, man, I already um, did the virtual box and I've done Active Directory and you're like, oh, well, you're ahead of the class. I was like, wait a minute, has anyone else not done it yet? I was actually really surprised by that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, so you came to GlobalNet and you started uh, doing the courses. You did uh, mm -hmm. actually two courses at the moment. Yeah. Still you're doing it. Yeah, yeah and I'm only for my third one. Fourth week or fifth week? <sighs> I think it's like our fifth week, fifth but then week, the fourth yeah. week for the network. For the network, for yeah. the week, yeah. So, how do you find doing IT? Because a lot of people, they believe IT is hard, it's difficult, it's not for them, especially the girls. <laughs> you know, the tech sector is a male-dominated sector to be It honest. really is. And a lot of girls are scared to join the tech sector because they believe it's not for them, it's for me, and that's it. Well, if you see the price tag that's on with these jobs, like the, the salary that you will get, mm -hmm. you don't care whether it's male dominated or not, <laughs> you will go to work. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> You're like, okay, because okay. IT is a very simple job, okay. okay? Whatever you're told to do is already there on the computer. You just have to click it. You have to follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Like, it will say go from point A, point B, point C. Mm -hmm. And then that's about it. That's what IT is. Mm -hmm. However, if you say, oh, I don't know, I can't get into it, and you never try, you won't know whether you will succeed in life or not. So there's no point in even saying, I'm going to apply for the course, but then I'm not going to apply the, um, the skills sets. Mm -hmm. You can't just expect uh, like to have a golden plate and be like, okay, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna take this golden plate and then take it to your job place and that's it, you're gonna get your salary. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works. You mm -hmm. have to apply what you were taught. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So basically uh, it's basically a sector that gives you uh, the best way yeah. in terms of money. But not only money in terms of what about flexibility. Flexibility also that's another beauty because you don't want to be at work from like eight until six or seven, God forbid. Sometimes <laughs> maybe later than that. Maybe uh, later than that. Maybe I, that's, for me, that's crazy. I can't imagine that. Mm. Unless you're like buying me a house or buying me something like, you know, very expensive. Unique especially. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're not expecting me to work that okay. much. Because it's not going to be worth it at the end of the day. You put in a lot of hours and then for what? For a little pay? You might as well be smart. You know, at that time, um, don't, don't work hard, work smart. It's smart, of yeah. Course, yeah. That's where you need to apply in life in order to get somewhere. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And second, you know, uh, we receive a lot of some girls who are doing a uh, nurse. Uh, rotating shift in yeah. the evening, uh, 12 hours, mm -hmm. difficult job. They want to join the tech sector, but <laughs> their schedule doesn't allow them to join the tech sector because to be the honest, courses are fixed, they have uh, evening time or morning yeah. time. And to be honest, even for them, even, it's difficult to. Even if you miss the class, you have the videos which you can go back to. That's what I was telling my sister. I was okay. like, I know you're busy, mm -hmm. but um, if you miss the class, just watch, re watch the video. Okay. It won't be nothing new. Okay. Whatever happens in class, it happens in the video. If there was a joke told in class, it would be in the video. <laughs> you know, it's nothing new. That's another huge yeah, advantage. Exactly. Yeah, it's a really what, good advantage. What we do here at GlobalNet, of course, we record every single video, every single lesson, mm -hmm. and we book the entire video online. So people can and access, I, they can rewatch, you can stop. And I believe uh, Layla was a nurse or something, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah. Um, and she worked uh, difficult times. Yeah. And if she could do it, mashallah, like, you know, anyone can do it. Yeah. <laughs> she was very helpful when it came to me as well. Okay, I okay. actually met her through you. Okay. So what about in terms of uh, when, uh, because uh, you said the payment is good, you said flexibility. Mm -hmm. What about working from home? Do you, you, you work from home sometimes? I actually, so I was supposed to work from home next week, mm -hmm. but then I was like, I'm brand new, I want to work in the office. Mm -hmm. Because once you're in the office, you can actually learn mm -hmm. the needs and tricks mm -hmm. of the whole workplace. Mm -hmm. But if you decide, okay, I got the job, let me work from home. Uh, of course, you so, need yeah. to be on, on the field. Yeah. Uh, get your hands dirty. You know, exactly. <laughs> That's the only way you can be like, I know what I'm doing. Okay. But if you go home and you don't know what you're doing, they're going to figure out that mm -hmm. you don't know nothing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, what was that time you said in the first class? Um, fake it till you make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, fake exactly. it till you make it. Exactly. And you yeah, can't yeah. fake it. How do you miss your ticket? So, you need to go there, and then when you see something that you don't know, go home, look it up. That's what I do. Mm. So, yeah. Google. Yeah, Google. It's a Google. Yeah, it has That's everything. Great. It has everything from A to Z. Look it up, and then when you come back to work, be like, I already know this. The, what was the first things you Googled at uh, your IT job? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then the next day, I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
the next day I went back to work, I was like, yeah, and then she was like, oh, yesterday, um, yesterday you didn't know it, and I was like, yesterday was my first day, I was very nervous, that's uh -huh. why, uh -huh. and then, oh, she's like, oh, okay, then you're very good at it, and I was like, thank you, she had no idea, I was up all night. <laughs> You know, the funny thing, because we do a uh, team viewer in our courses, especially in Network Plus, but yeah. when you got the job mm -hmm. at the beginning, yeah. you were ahead of the class. I was way ahead of yeah. the class from day you one. You finished the courses, yeah. and after that, I applied the yeah. IT jobs. But you, what you did basically, <laughs> you, know, you, started, you started the classes, as yeah. soon as you started within two weeks, within one, the two first weeks, day. Uh, within the first yeah. day, you started applying uh, IT jobs. My favorite video, well, class that you did was um, mm. how to fast track your career. Say again, because I want people to listen to How that. to fast track your career? Mm -hmm. So it's when Man gives you like pointers, like how to do your CV, how to like answer certain questions, this and that. And then he said, um, make goals for yourself, make three months, six months, and then nine months. And I was like, oh, okay. So I'm like there taking notes. And then um, Man goes, when do you guys want to get your first job? But in, from whoever you started from, said September. For some reason, it was like a demo block. Everyone else said September. And then you come to me and I'm like, oh shit, shall I tell him the truth or shall I lie? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, let me just tell the truth. And I was like, oh man, I already started applying. <laughs> so that's what I told you. And it was a surprise to me because, you know, the class you mentioned, uh, how to fast track your tech uh, or IT job, mm -hmm. that's what we do on a regular basis. Yeah. And, and people join and, of course, we motivate them, we inspire them, mm -hmm. we talk about what are the main key points in order to apply for your first IT job in terms of uh, technical, mm -hmm. in terms of HR. And in that class, I asked people, and I said, how many of you are planning to get the first IT job at the end of the year? Yeah. This 2022. I was like thinking, in my head, I was still, because I joined the class, because even though I have a job, I know I'm going to have to reapply for another job soon, okay. whenever my contract ends, or if okay. I want a higher paid job, mm. whatever. So I said, let me join the class and take notes of whatever man says, even mm. though I have a job. And then I was there taking notes, and then when you asked them, and they said, next year or mm. September, and I'm not like thinking, that's when I want to apply for my next job. Next job? Yeah, next, really <laughs> next job, not the first one. And I'm thinking, this, that, if you can do something tomorrow, why can't you do it today? Like, what's exactly. stopping you? It's the same thing. It's uh, just you're delaying it. I remember when you said, guys, what are you talking about? September, yeah. that's too far, man. Exactly. It's way too far. I started far. My, applying the first IT job. Exactly. And I said, what is going on? <laughs> I surprised you. You yeah, had no faith. I said, is that you doing A+, plus? and you said, yeah, man, I'm doing A+. Plus. Yeah. I just started the A+, plus. I'm just starting the plus. And yeah. I said, wow, that's good. Well done. Yeah. And you're like, I need more students like to hurt. And I was like, yep, he definitely does. Uh, you set an example for a lot of people. Wow. One, one, one thing I like about you is, you know, uh, normally I give instructions mm -hmm. in the classes. Yeah. Some people, they listen, they take note, and they mm -hmm. know. Some of them, they uh, even, they don't pay attention. It's because but you, they ask the same whatever questions. Whatever I say, whatever <laughs> I say, you implement. Not only listen, oh, yeah. but you implement. Yeah, you like the item. Like <laughs> item. Tell us what it's about item. Oh, and how how did you come across? So, so Alan goes in class, there's a book named Ito, so you're going to need it for your interview. And then he ended up like continuing with the lesson. You didn't even explain what it was. Mm -hmm. So I, well, he goes, oh, it's on Amazon, and you showed us a picture. And I was like, okay, Amazon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ordered the book, it came the next day. I went through the book, and it's basically, it's about, it's similar to customer service. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's about how a company wants to provide their customer service to the clients. <coughs> And that's all you need to know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what the main is all about. That was, mm -hmm. that's what the book's all about. So basically, if you read the book, when they ask you in, in the interview, like what's SLA, for example, you would be like, oh yeah, I read this. It says it in the book. Just say what it said in the book. Service level agreement. Mm -hmm. If they are saying, what is it? It's like um, from the organization to the end point of the client side. Mm -hmm. So it's just providing customer service. That's mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so basically I said people you need guys to get and buy ITIL, I showed yeah. you the, the, the title of yeah. the book and I showed you some of maybe uh, other books and yeah. I said you need this book. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happens most of the time? People, okay, they take note, take picture, <laughs> leave it there. Yeah. And they wait next session and I say repeat the same thing and yeah. they wait another session they repeat the same thing. But actually what you did basically the same night, I think mm -hmm. you were the session yeah. when you ordered the book. Yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Even you haven't, uh, you haven't finished the Yeah, session, no, right? I wasn't. <laughs> Straight away you went to the, to the online yeah. Amazon I was like, I'm, if I leave it, I'm going to forget it So I was like, let me just do it now Because 
you weren't saying anything else so yeah. I was like let me just take advantage of it order it and so yeah that's that are the type of people I'm looking for because I'm looking the people who will take the instructions implement apply the life and do Mm. And they can get a job like you. Yeah. Yeah. Look now, you were in a <laughs> position about yeah. four weeks ago, and now you're here. I know. Yeah, in tech sector, sitting on this hot chair at the moment. I saw women <laughs> sitting on this chair, and I was like, wow, damn, I want to be on that chair. And okay. I didn't think it was going to be that quick, mm. to be honest. Even I didn't believe that it was going to be that quick. But then, if you listen to everything that you say, mm -hmm. and you take the notes, and you just apply it, like it's really easy to get into the IT sector. Because you know, we are doing the training for, we have been doing for how, how, how many years? Long time, 20 mm -hmm. years or plus, and we know how the tech sector works, and we know what are the shortcuts, and we know what they're going to ask mm -hmm. you, the questions in terms of HR, in terms of technical, in terms of yeah. maybe uh, other questions, mm -hmm. and we try to summarize and make shortcuts for our students. Even with the A plus and A workbooks, is summarized. Summarized, yeah. It exactly. really is. To the point. To the point. Yeah. Uh, but you don't need anything else. Exactly. <laughs> like if you focus, yeah. if you focus and pay attention to the key points mm -hmm. and listen, and sometimes I give explanation in the class. So yeah. you need to hints, to like, hints yeah, yeah, exactly. you just give hints. Or in the class, you probably give like five to six hints. Okay. Like this, that. How important the item, before I continue, how important the item is for the people who want to get the first IT job? I would say it's really important mm -hmm. because even in their job description, mm -hmm. they'll be like, we would prefer an ITIL qualified person. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but however, if you say you know the basics and you answer all the basic item questions, mm -hmm. even if you're not qualified, they will take you. That's guaranteed. Okay. So yeah. So basically, you can say I'm not qualified. Uh, I did not or certified. I didn't do the test, but I know what mm -hmm. item is. Yeah. Yeah. And you ask know the questions. Them. And of course. Uh, so one of the questions was SLA. Yeah. What are the questions you received in terms of item? <sighs> What are the four P's? What are the four P's? What are the four P's? <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is, I knew it when it was in the job interview. Okay. And I was like, is this, is that, is that? Okay. Like the way, in the order, it was written in the book as well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't miss a single beat. Okay. So, yeah. And basically the questions were over the phone or? Over the phone. Ever since COVID, they said they're doing all the interviews over the phone, mm. which is an advantage to the, uh, other people who are looking for jobs because get the book out. Get the book out and just be like... Have you ever received a question over the phone and you don't know the answer, you don't know the answer and you just Google while you're on a session? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> or like, uh, so basically you make an excuse. You'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, I can't hear you again. Can you repeat the question? Uh -huh. Whilst they're repeating the question, you're typing it in Google. Uh -huh. right, and then when the answer comes up, you just look at it for a second, rephrase it quickly because you don't want to say how uh -huh. it's written on Google because uh -huh. they would know. Uh -huh. Rephrase it for them and uh -huh. say it. That's it. <laughs> but you must have a very silent keyboard then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If the keyboard are noisy, then uh, they make it. it makes <laughs> put a cloth on top of it and yeah. just start typing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reduce the sound however you can. In IT, you have to think on your feet because sometimes you get questions that surprise you. You don't know the answer. Yeah, you don't know definitely. what they're talking about. And you can get a small amount of window. Mm -hmm. uh, and in that window, you have to be quick. You have to act. To, yeah. to be honest, before my interview, what I did was like I watched Mona's video, okay. everything that she said on her interview. That was a I great wrote video, it down. Inshallah. That was a great And video. then I watched yeah. two other boys, mm -hmm. I can't remember their names, but whatever they said on the interviews, okay. I wrote it down. Okay. On my bed, I was on my bed when I had the interview, mm -hmm. <laughs> I had my papers laid out in front of me in case okay. that question came up. Ah, All I, I had to do is be like, okay, is <laughs> this one? The answer is this. So, yeah. So, you laid out on the bed? No, I had it. Wow. I literally lay them out mm. and then but how I did it was like HR questions on one side one side and, and then the tech questions on the other side color -coded. yeah okay. it was color coded okay. and another thing is um, global net is like a spider web to be honest okay. it, it takes you from one person to another mm -hmm. I met so many people like literally mashallah and they've all helped me out a lot so I can't thank them enough mm -hmm. there's um, three year I met sister Layla mashallah <laughs> the previous students if you get in contact with them mm. they will help you out they will tell you everything they will, if they can like sister Layla they will even mm. do a zoom meeting for you and that's what she did basically. that's what she did for me and the other kid Okay. So yeah, she did a Zoom meeting for us, she took us through the questions mm. and she gave us pointers and everything. Mashallah, she it's was amazing. Yeah, Basically, you said. did a mock interview yeah, before mock you interview. had your actual yeah. interview. Definitely. Okay, let's come to when it comes to interview. Mm -hmm. 
you can uh, tell us what are the most difficult questions you faced in terms of HR? Because there are HR questions mm -hmm. and there are technical questions. Yeah. So I'll come to technical. Mm -hmm. In terms of HR, what are the main questions you faced? To be honest, with the HR questions, they're no different to, to a regular interview. Mm -hmm. It's basically questions like, um, how would you deal if you have a fight with a colleague, how would you deal with that situation? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you would just say exactly what you would do. You would say, um, you would mm -hmm. give them the answer. Mm -hmm. And then another question for HR is basically, um, how would you prioritize your work? And stuff like that is very simple. For if you had an interview previously for any other job, mm -hmm. you can use that to your advantage. Mm -hmm. Give them an example and say, in my previous job, I did this and this. And this is how I overcame the situation by doing this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So basically, what you're saying, uh, if you worked in another sector, in maybe sector. retail or maybe another sector, mm -hmm. uh, of course you have a lot of skills mm -hmm. that you can take with you, yeah. transfer into IT, mm -hmm, and use them. Yeah. yeah? Like communication, mm -hmm. like customer service, yeah. like maybe customer uh, service is with, definitely is key. Definitely yeah, key. yeah, it definitely is. And that's what you need in IT because most of the time you're gonna face and deal with the customers, angry customers, happy customers. So you should know how to deal with uh, especially mm -hmm. um, not happy <laughs> <laughs> not happy customers. Yeah, have definitely. you had any so far? I did. Okay. But uh, my colleague took over because I was new. Because mm -hmm. it's just been my first week at work, okay. so everyone's very helpful at work, and they take off if I don't know anything. Okay. But then they give me pointers. They're like, okay. if this happens in this situation, yeah, do this, quickly. yeah. Okay. So they'll give you steps by steps. Okay. In terms of agile questions, you mentioned uh, the skills mm -hmm. uh, we can transfer. Yeah, skills. That's definitely. what they call soft skills. Yeah. yeah. But what about in terms of technical? What are the main technical questions uh, people need to pay attention? Uh, Technical questions, it's, to be honest, it's skills that you do every day mm -hmm. and it's nothing new. For mm -hmm. example, you get a question like, if you delete the folder, how would you retrieve that folder? Mm -hmm. But you do that every day. You just don't realize it as a uh, IT or technical skill. It's just something that's um, necessary for you to do to retrieve that folder. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but it's nothing out of the bloom that you wouldn't know. It's mm -hmm. your basic everyday IT skill. Okay, okay. So, um, in terms of uh, technical, of course, they ask you basic questions, mm -hmm. and that depends from person to person. One person might get like five questions, and another yeah. person might get ten One. questions, and another person may be none. Yeah. Uh, it depends. All interviews are not the same, but you have to prepare mm -hmm. all different types of scenarios. Yeah, definitely. And of course. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, when it comes to uh, applications that they use at workplaces, what are the main applications? Uh, for us, it's TeamViewer, mm -hmm. Active Directory. Mm -hmm. I've done Active Directory before I even got the job, so I knew what that was about. So mm -hmm. once I got to the job, they were like, okay, since you already know what it is, mm -hmm. we're going to give all this to you. You okay. just deal with all the Active Directory, as in creating new mm -hmm. um, accounts, Windows mm -hmm. accounts for them, and stuff like that, mm -hmm. creating new emails. Um, Team view was something new to me, but I could not tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go you have home. To to yeah. The team view. Uh, at first, I was like, I don't know what it is in my head, but then I was like, okay, you know what? Um, I was like, I'm a bit nervous today, to be honest, because it's my first day. And I was like, and she's like okay, it's a new time to go home anyway, alhamdulillah. <laughs> so I went home, looked it up. Once I got back the second day, I was like, I started doing everything. And they were like, oh, wait a minute, you actually know what it is. I thought you didn't know. I was like, no, it was first day jitters. Like, I was just nervous on my first day. Other than that, I know what I'm doing. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's good, mashallah. So in terms of uh, technical, of course, when, uh, you, uh, you use uh, ADI, which is very, very important. Anyone who wants to get a job, they must have a good uh, concept about ADI. But the other time you applied for IT job, you, did not, you didn't do the ADI. Till now, you I did not do, <laughs> I did you didn't do the course. Uh, I know. No. That's the third course, A+, plus and Network, and Microsoft. Mm -hmm. But what you did basically, you said, man, uh, what's ADI? You asked me questions. Yeah. And 
you went online, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you did it yourself, you downloaded the image, yeah. the survey image, mm -hmm. you installed on your virtual machine yeah. by watching random videos, I did. and you learned how to create a user account, mm -hmm. you learned how to create groups, you learned how to do the basic stuff for you, <laughs> and then yeah. on WordPress you said, I know how to do it, yeah, and use AD, and yeah. they said, okay. That, yep, they're like, here you go, you can do everything that has AD on it. So, that's yeah. the initiative, that's what you need there, guys. Sometimes the people do the courses, and you tell them this is what you need, mm -hmm. and they uh, all the that's the sad part. You need yeah. to apply whatever you're taught. Mm -hmm. You can't just be like, okay, I'm taught. I was taught this, but I'm going to keep it in a back shelf because that's not going to benefit you, especially yeah. if you want to get somewhere in life. You have to apply the skills, and to be honest, they're not that hard. Mm -hmm. Once you do it, for me, I didn't even have help from you. Mm -hmm. Like I was at home and I was trying to figure it out. I couldn't even access my BIOS. <laughs> That's I don't even know what bias was. <laughs> so when it said bias, I'm like, what is what it? What is talking about? Well, I guess. What's, what's but the, the funny bias? thing is, mm. I've accessed it before, but I didn't register it as bias. I see. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So I was like, once I figured it out, then I just completed the rest. And the thing is, if you understand simple English, mm -hmm. that's all you need. Mm -hmm. No one's telling you to talk in Japanese or Chinese and then translate it for them. Mm -hmm. No, it's basic. Mm -hmm. If you know the basic, you can speak basic English, that's it. Communication is the, is the key. It's key. Mm -hmm. If you don't know something and you're like afraid, you don't want to say, I don't know it, mm -hmm. hold back for a bit. Go home. Do your research. And then what you've learned from that, be like, I know this and this, mm -hmm. but I don't know how to do the rest. Could you show me? At least they'll have a knowledge and say, okay, this person has the basic skills. Okay. Let's teach her the rest. The rest but if you say, I don't know, I want you to teach me from, from point zero, they'll be like, why are you here? Of like, course. yeah. And like Man said, fake it till you make it. Yeah, right. You have to be proactive, Man. Of course, you have to take the initiative. You have to take the first step. If you hear something, you have to take note, go online, research, mm -hmm. and even at work. If you get, if you hear something about yeah. the technology or phrase, do ask questions, basic questions. Yeah, yeah. don't pretend you know yeah. that. Go to online, mm -hmm, do definitely. your own research, <laughs> and then you are part of the team. Yeah, exactly. No one knows you don't know. Exactly. <laughs> they don't need to know your secret. Exactly. Like, if I don't have to be a just keep it to yourself. <laughs> so literally, if you go around and you s even like before you get a job or before you apply, like Mona said, don't go around screaming, I'm looking for a job, I'm looking for a job, because if you don't get it, they're going to be like, um, you didn't get it, why didn't you get it, you know, you're going to get negativity back, but if you hold back and then you know yourself what you achieved and what you haven't, and you just build on yourself, that's you're helping yourself. You're not helping anyone else. Mm. So do not advertise. Build yourself yeah. first. Do not advertise anything. Mm. Even if you advertise it, you're not going to gain anything from it. Mm. So it's better to hold back. Once you've gained what you want to gain, then be like, I got this. <laughs> I like what I'm going to say because yeah. when I, was talking, uh, I kept quiet uh, when I was doing the courses. <laughs> I did not tell anyone, my friends and ever and other people. But when I got a job, I was laughing at that. I was like, that was, oh. that was good, man. <laughs> really good but it's also yeah. so true yeah. because in our community people are so negative and they quick to judge yeah. but then the thing is if you look at them they have nothing to show for okay. so it's like you have nothing to show for and yet you're telling me mm. I can't do anything mm. so they can't go nowhere themselves so they're gonna keep you down with them because mm. then you guys are leveled because you mentioned here a very good point, you said our community are so negative, and that applies to other communities, but in our community I believe there's a high number yeah. of negativity, mm -hmm. uh, really high. because I have been teaching for the last 20 years, I know, I met them, uh, they <laughs> <laughs> I come across every single day. Yeah, it's all so, different times. Yeah, but how do you, uh, man, how someone can overcome the negativity uh, in your Keep because, your you mouth know. shut. Okay. Best advice, keep your mouth shut. Afar hai, kufka sa shagin, and just work on yourself, be you. Why are you bothered about someone else? Mm -hmm. you just fix yourself first. When you get somewhere in life, then they'll see for themselves. You don't even need to tell them. Like the previous guy that was here last week, mm -hmm. he said his paycheck speaks for him. And people thought he was reincarnated. <laughs> <laughs> I was lying. Like, I was dying inside. I was laughing so hard. That was a <laughs> Yeah. And then I had to tell 
chance to speak to him and mm. mashallah he's a very um outgoing person yeah very <laughs> yeah. yeah oh yeah, my god yeah. i was laughing so hard i was like damn we're <laughs> being carnated as well <laughs> that's not something you think of every day i know uh, Zuhara, Mara, uh, of course you know the path because you uh, uh, you walked on that path and you got a job of course Mara, in a short time uh, <laughs> i called that <laughs> You cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I called. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, a lot of people, they do the courses. Mm -hmm. uh, they did the A plus and network and the services and ACC and the other courses. And still, they have that fear in their mind. Yeah. They believe yeah. they cannot get a job. They believe uh, IT is hard and difficult. They believe uh, the IT or tech job is another level. So what is your best advice for them? Because the new the group. <laughs> You got a job in two I do um, have no fear though. Yeah, so <laughs> like, what would you say to them? Okay, why wasn't there no fear when you were studying the course? You managed to study so much different courses as well. Mm -hmm. Not just one course, you studied like five, six courses. Mm -hmm. And when you reach the end, you can say you have a fear. Mm -hmm. Where was the fear when you were first applying for the A plus course? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. And plus, if you don't apply yourself, like, if you don't jump in there and just do it, you won't know whether you're going to succeed or you're going to fail. Just try it. Mm -hmm. You might actually become like really happy and succeed. And even if you fail, failure is, you're not going to be the first person on this planet to fail. Mm -hmm. And who's going to have a microphone saying, that person failed <laughs> right there <laughs> in the middle of the crowd? That's not going to happen. It's just in your mind. In your mind is playing tricks on you. Just do it. Like, Okay, there's so many stuff that us in our Somali community that we just do mm -hmm. and it's not even none of our business. Like we'll see a fight. We're gonna be right next to it. We're gonna be like, oh my had oh, into do it and we have nothing to do with that situation. It's at all. So why is it when you have something to do for yourself you're gonna say, I have a fit but you haven't even applied yourself. Mm. And plus the funny thing is as for example, we have man here. Mashallah, you've helped so many students who are helping so many people now. And we have a small network for community building up. Mm -hmm. And that's why I see in workplaces as well, like Asian people, mm -hmm. they don't know anything. But yeah, he's going to bring his cousin who also doesn't know anything about the IT or tech center. Exactly, that's a very good point. Exactly, yeah. but why can't we do that for one another as well? Mm. But the thing is, amongst us, we have this thing like, oh, he's from a different tribe. And from different, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. different areas. Or I don't like the way this person acts. But exactly. you just build it, put in your own community. You know? time, then, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just a time where you just go out there and do you. So, <laughs> so basically, you say fear is something in your mind. It doesn't exist at all. It really doesn't. Need, all what you need to you do is you either swim or you drown. Okay. There's nothing in between. How do you say that in Somali? Wamude and wamuse. Wamude, ama. Wamuse. Wamuse. Exactly. So I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. I don't know what you're saying. And out of fear, out of that particular fear that you had to begin with, mm -hmm. you're going to swim. Okay. Because it's going to be your life that's going to be suffocating. Okay. You're going to swim, trust me. So you have to do something in order to survive. Yeah, just jump in. <laughs> Not all the exactly. 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 I like the phrase uh, because I heard you saying earlier, you said, I'm a one I'm a so guys, I'm not listening. If you guys are going to play, I can't believe you're not a mother. I'm a mother. Yeah. Yeah. What's the difference between a mother and a mother? There's nothing to it. It's mm. just in your head. Mm. Even when they're talking to you. So basically, what happened to me was I had my interview. Mm -hmm. On my email, it said it's going to be 15 minutes interview. Mm -hmm. It was less than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was speaking to man, I told him, man, it was less than 10 minutes. Like in my head, I was like, shit, you failed. I remember telling you that particularly <laughs> and you were like, yeah, yeah, all interviews are like that and then five minutes later, after I put down the phone with you, I got another call saying that I got the job. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Look, uh, that's how, how quick it is. And all we were looking is some, someone who can communicate, someone who can answer the questions, someone who yeah. can show the confidence. Mm -hmm. uh, just confidence joke around with them. Yeah. They're, they're just another person on the phone. Mm -hmm. It's like, you use the phone every single day anyway. Exactly. Just talk to them, like, pretend they're your friend. Mm -hmm. Like, for the guy who interviewed me, he was pretty openly, he was very jerky, so okay. I decided to go along with it. Okay. I said, it's not like he's going to come out of the phone and kill me. So mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I made a few jokes with him, and then he was like, okay, then that's it, I'm going to speak to the other person, mm -hmm. and then we'll let you know. And then that was it. And just he called you after? Yeah, after like 
10, 15 minutes after I've spoken to you. Mm. And then they were like, you got the job. And then I was like... How was you feeling when they told you you got the job? <laughs> uh, I was shaking. I'm not going to lie. You can even ask my mum. She was there. I was shaking. Okay. Like, it wasn't because of fear. I guess it was more of like... I didn't believe it. Uh -huh. It was like, is this like a cruel it's joke? Like yeah. Uh, it's a real. Yeah, it's like, yeah. how high were they when they took my interview? Mm -hmm. Were they drunk? Okay. <laughs> and they finished early just to... They finished early. That's what made me believe that I failed the interview. Okay, okay. And then I got the call and said, like, you got the job. And I was like, and I looked at my mum and I remember saying, I think the person who took my interview, I think they were drunk. Literally. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't hire me because <laughs> I made jokes with that guy. Okay. And then when I got to work, he was like, "Oh yeah, you're so hair." I was like, yeah. "Oh yeah, okay." I was like, "Okay, this must be the guy who took my interview." Mm. And yeah, we actually became friends now. I see him at work. And I say hi. Oh, he was there. Okay. Yeah, he works okay. there. Mm. So he even makes a couple of jokes there and then, mm. and it's like a really fun environment. Mm. It's not like an environment where you. Do you know like in TVs, you see the office space is very yeah, like... Yeah, office space, yeah. Yeah, it's very it's like... Open, open space? It's open space. Okay. People are just chilling. Mm -hmm. Like, it's nothing serious. Mm -hmm. So, which I love because I can do whatever I want. I, the other day, I was it's working... not like working in the retail or not working no, in the other places. There's no it's stress. It's not like hectic, it's no stress. There's no stress. I was watching a video the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. because all my colleagues were watching a video and they were emailing. So, it's like... If they can do that, I can do that. <laughs> I played my video. I was watching my video and I was emailing to replies. So yeah, it was fun though. So that's how the next IT IT yeah. IT job is. Some people are playing their music. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. But when you called me and you said, "Man, I got a job," uh, you did not believe me. It was hard for me to believe because I said, "Maybe." Uh, I mean, you noticed the reaction he asked because me. I kept quiet. Uh, yeah, you kept quiet, and then you're like, "Are you sure?" Uh, yeah, man. And then you're like, "Are you sure?" <laughs> You asked me if I, if you were Twice, I believe, yeah. Three times. Three times? Yeah, you ha are you sure, are you sure? And I looked at my mum after we put them in the front, and I was like, my aunt had zero faith in me. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, I was like, yeah, zero faith in me. Because, you know why I believe that? Because um, the day you told me there was yeah. a job offer, mm -hmm. you said to me, this is your first job. If mm -hmm. you don't get it, mm -hmm. it's okay. There are other jobs out there. Mm -hmm. That's what, what you told me from day one. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then when I told you I got the job, you were like, hell no. You're like, are you sure? Are you sure you got the job? And I was like, okay then. He has zero faith in me. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I actually had a high faith in you, but you know, I meet a lot of in students. Mm -hmm. They go to interview and they automatically assume that job is for them. You can't And do that. then they get a phone call mm -hmm. or maybe email or maybe they're no, no, silent and nothing yeah. at all and they get disappointed. Yeah, but then so, when that happens, that's when you call them up again and say, could you give me a feedback? Exactly. What did I do wrong? So exactly. that in the next interview, mm -hmm. you know what to expect okay. and you can correct that error. But if you say, mm -hmm. I didn't get that interview or that job, that's mm -hmm. it, I'm not going to apply for the rest. Okay. You're just shooting yourself in the leg. Okay. Like, you're not harming anyone else but yourself. You're harming yourself. Yeah, it's just yeah. yourself. So yeah. why not just call them? Just and ask feedback because ask that feedback. will help you in the next interview. Like, yeah. um, the guy that was here, he was told because yeah. he wasn't wearing the suit. Mohammed, yeah. Yeah. He was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> he was I really enjoyed this interview then. A lot of people enjoyed my show. Yeah, uh, you know, every single interview we do here is unique and special because every single person they have their own. Uh, story yeah. and, 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 and different flavors, of course. Yeah, so, every single video if you watch is unique, especially. Yeah, that's the thing, you can't just be like interview yeah. a high star and then I'm just going to go in it's blindfolded. Yeah, 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 that's not how it works. And plus, everything was laid out for you. All you yeah. have to do is just apply it. So, yeah, and you have to work hard, of course. You mm -hmm. need to work hard, definitely. And I like my Maha Aisha, or you push it. I don't think I What was it? Uh, Nikki said, I don't know. Oh, Nikki said, I don't know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If, you, if you sleep, your colleagues are going to go past you. Uh, That's it. Of course. Yeah. So the way you say it is uh, more like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing is, I don't speak Somali often. You speak in Somali, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so good. So I'm like, in my household, yeah. I'm like the worst. Like, my siblings are better than me. I like my nasa wali at the 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 nasa wali at the
So, what can you do about this? So, you can do about this. How was your first day? How was you? How was your first day? You went to the job expecting. Uh, of course, you had that feeling in your mind. What's going to happen? Are you, are you going to be able to do the job? Uh, what are they going to ask you? Of course, you have a lot of uh, yeah. questions in your mind. Yes. Yeah, so, what happened when you went to the job first day? <laughs> so, for the first day, um, they asked me what I knew. Mm -hmm. And at first, I didn't know what to say. And I was like, oh, um, I was like, then I remembered my CV and mm -hmm. I listed that everything that was on my CV. I was like, I know this, I know that. It was a lot of mm -hmm. but they, they didn't need to know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so after I finished, they were like, oh, you know Active Directory? And I was like, yeah. And then she goes, can you show it to me? I was like, yeah, definitely. I play, I've been playing around with it for the past week. So I showed it to her. She asked me to create a new account, new users, mm -hmm. how to find a user. And she thought I was going to scroll down a long list. And all I did was right click the user, go to find, mm -hmm. and then I typed in the name that she gave me. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, oh, I was expecting you to scroll down for us to be here like for five minutes mm -hmm. for you to look her up. Mm -hmm. She goes, yeah, she's pretty good. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you don't know how much effort it took me to get here. <laughs> like, literally, <laughs> she thought I was a natural born. Okay. Do you know, uh, in your position, you mm. do service desk analyst yeah. for energies. So, what do you do every single day? Of They're very repetitive. Okay. If you fail in the first one, mm -hmm. you know you have like 10 other people waiting for the same thing mm -hmm. that you have to do again. Mm -hmm. And eventually, eventually, you would just be like, oh, it's very simple. You do this, you do that, you go there, you go here, and then that's it, that's done. It's very repetitive. Very repetitive. Yeah, thing. which is a good thing. <laughs> so, yeah. And that question will lead me to another question, which is, do you think any, everyone or anyone with A+, plus and Netto+, plus and bit of server can do that job? I didn't even have none of those. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, you're, you're my witness. I did not have yeah. any of this. I, I believe we were on our first and second yeah, week. Yeah, first second week, yeah. Yeah, and I got the job. Wow. So, if you're sitting there, let me tell you this, if you're sitting there with all of those qualifications... Yeah, even up to CCNA or CCMB, and yeah. still you have that fear to get your first IT job or search for your yeah. IT job. I mean like, by now you could have had the experience and you could have been aiming for a higher salary. Mm -hmm. But because you delayed yourself, mm -hmm. you're going to have to start where I am right now. Mm -hmm. So even though you were before me and you met Alan before me, mm -hmm. you and I are going to be buddies. You know? Okay. And that's not a good thing. That's because not a good thing, of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, you yeah. could have done so much. Within that time frame. Within that time frame. Yeah, like, I agree with you. I mean, like, you say you need to have a goal, mm -hmm. but the thing is, just hearing you saying you need to have a goal, mm -hmm. it's not enough. Mm -hmm. The person has to make that goal. They exactly. need to have that deadline. I mean, I, I had deadlines and goals to meet before we even met. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, shit, because every time Anne told me I wasn't ready, I was like, he is delaying me. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> get me out of here. I was like, from day one, when we spoke, I was like, I want a job. Okay. And he's like, no, you need to study A+, you need to do this. And then he was like, okay, you know what, send me your CV. Hmm. And then I was like, done. <laughs> I remember when I got your first uh, CV, it was good my CV, yeah, it was basic. but it was basic CV. You know what, we're not going to even speak about that. That did not exist. That's <laughs> <laughs> how basic it was, Wallahi. It said, um, I did A+, plus, I did um, never plus. Uh, well, when I saw your CV, I surprised when uh, this CV doesn't take the too far, so yeah. I have to change to two-page CV, I yeah. had a lot of things to eat, yeah. to make it nice, mm -hmm. and after that, I said, He flavored it. He added a lot of, like, <laughs> Flavors. <Excuse> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all the beasts came on you. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. That's, that's, that's quite good. Uh, do you know if you come to your tech job at the moment mm -hmm. and you work at the energies, what are the main applications that the organizations use mm -hmm. so people can learn before they apply to IT jobs? Because Definitely. if they if they if they had some idea before mm -hmm. they apply or maybe get the job, that helps them a lot. Mm -hmm. So what are the main applications that I would uses? say definitely learn your active directory. You know, that will save you. Even if you don't know anything and they see that you know your active directory, they'll be like, That's it, we can teach you the rest. It's not a problem. But then if you see they're using the app, everything is online. Like there's nothing that you can't find online. When you get home, go online, learn the basics. And then be like, I know this much, what else is there for me to learn? And they will happily teach you the rest because the 
they know that I have to cover the basics with you. Mm -hmm. But because I didn't do Team Viewer and I've learned it myself, I'll say learn Team Viewer before. Learn even Zoom. There's so much to be learned on Zoom as well. Exactly. Like, I still haven't had the chance, but <laughs> it's something that is one of my goals right now. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, the AD or the server is one of the important, mm -hmm. uh, of course, one of the courses we do here. And that's what we tell the students. In order to get a job, of course, you need to have some kind of knowledge in server. Yeah. Definitely. But you don't have to wait till you finish one of the course. You don't as even have to wait. Did, first work, second yeah. week, yeah, like you did. Yeah. You can build your own environment, you can just practice and apply what you are doing in yeah. the course. I mean, like, you also need to have the joy for IT, to be honest. Because mm -hmm. for me, it was something I actually found I enjoyed. So whilst I was creating my virtual box, I got carried away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. I... <laughs> I did uh, one for my AD, actually okay. died three. Yeah. I did one for my server. Okay. And then I did uh, one, one for Linux. One for the Linux, yeah, yeah. Winter machine. Exactly. Mm. And then I did one for the sake of it, just to okay. play games. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I mean, like, you need to enjoy yeah. it. What is the aspect of your laptop? Is that 16 GB of RAM or 8 GB of RAM? 8. 8 GB of yeah. RAM. And you managed to do up to three, core, three mm -hmm. virtual yeah. machines. Yeah, you just minimize it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. make short, yeah. Man, of course, man. Exactly. Like 1 GB, 1 mm -hmm. GB. Uh, and image. with the server, uh, there was mm. one difficulty that I came across, <laughs> but it was more of a challenge for me. Mm. I had to create my own um, internet. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I was like, oh shit. And then I looked up a couple of videos. I even did some research and then I got hold of Ahmed. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Ahmed, I don't know how to do this. I'm stuck here. Yeah, I'm stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> and then mashallah, yeah. he actually sent me a PDF okay. of how to do it step by step. And I followed it and he was like, was it easy? And I was like, it was dead easy. Mm. Like literally, there was nothing hard about it. Mm. And I actually felt disappointed because I was looking for a challenge, but mm. it was so simple. Yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, I mean, it was way too simple. <laughs> I didn't yeah, like it. Yeah, step by step, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And even the lab book shows you step by step. Mm -hmm. The other people like Ahmed mm. showed you step yeah. by step. So uh, if you want to do something, of course, you can well, yeah. You can get 10 different ways to do the same exactly. job. Exactly, yeah. reach out to people. But you must enjoy what you do. And that's yeah. what Hanoi did. A lot of people had successful uh, like mm -hmm. uh, Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or whatever. Mm -hmm. Not idea how can you see you reach and you want to yeah. go that far. They say we enjoy what we do. Yeah, exactly. If you For don't us, enjoy it's it, like hobby, man. Yeah, exactly. Every single day. Yeah. If yeah. you don't enjoy it, you're gonna get bored. Exactly. And then so, it's not the right career for you. So if you are in IT, you must have a passion for it. You yeah. must enjoy what you're doing, mm -hmm. like creating virtual machines, installing applications, mm -hmm. creating systems, fixing issues here, connecting devices. That one makes your job uh, very, very interesting. Yeah, but the only way you're gonna enjoy it is if you are ready to fail the first couple of times. Okay. But if you fail and you're like, that's it, I'm not going to do it, mm -hmm. you're not going to enjoy it because okay. Okay. you stopped at the first level. Yeah, first level. Yeah. yeah. You have to you continue. Need to, yeah, you need to fail so many times. Mm. Like for me, I thought my laptop was going to break down. Okay. <laughs> I felt there was so many that I deleted mm -hmm. and then I would just recreate it. Mm. And then I would be like, okay, I got this step that's wrong good, and then yeah. I'll just redo it. Yeah. And then it ended up working and then I was like, <laughs> <laughs> That takes me another, another question, which is what are the main challenges you had in terms of learning, the, doing the courses, in terms of getting your first tech job, although you got in within two weeks, mm -hmm. but what are, the, what are the main challenges you had, of course? Main challenges was like my virtual box. Oh my God, the first year, I was in front of my laptop for six hours, man. Let me tell you, just trying to fix it. I got so angry at it. I wanted to, at one point, I wanted to break my laptop. I was like, why is it not working? And then I would delete it and then I will try again. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to come back tomorrow with a fresh mind. And then the next day, Alhamdulillah, everything just fell into place. Hmm. And for most of it, I didn't even have to look at the notes that I made because I already knew what I was doing. So I was like, just click, 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 click. And then when it started working, it was like a halo sign just came from <laughs> <up to> me. <laughs> Like the peace that I felt, <laughs> it was so nice. <laughs> like, I'm not lying. Like because whatever you do in life, if you don't apply, if you don't apply dedication to it, yeah. Like even if you uh, reach the end goal, you're not going to feel that like, pleasure. Exactly. Because you haven't really worked for it. You have to feel the pressure. Yeah, you need to feel the pressure, course, and the pressure yeah. is something that pushes you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's not something that holds you back, which is uh, what a lot of people believe. Like it's too hard. That's it. But 
it's hard because it's building you. Of course, yeah. So, yeah. It prepares you for bigger things. Yeah. And you can say later, oh, I had challenge and now I overcame the challenge exactly. and now I'm here. Yeah. Or others, you can go into your workplace and be like, I know how to do a virtual box. Let me mm. help you guys. Mm. And they'll think like, you know from A to Z when basically you just know that one particular thing. Okay. So, yeah. What are the challenges you had, for example? Oh, um, my CV was a challenge. I'm going to lie. That's We're not going to even oh, talk basic, about it. Basic CV. Yeah. It did not exist. Yeah. We're, not, we're not telling people, man. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we need to build a unique CV for exactly. every single person. It's no good to be able to cover the CV because what, I, what happens sometimes? Yeah. yeah? It becomes the, so even similar. agencies will get surprised because they see information on the mm -hmm. CV, they see the same thing yeah. on another CV. Yeah, and they see same it doesn't put you out as well. Of course. Yeah, it doesn't that, make you unique. And that will put our organization at, at risk. Yeah. At risk. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. That's no good because yeah. we need to build a unique CV to everyone. Everyone is very unique. So you, ha you might have something to offer that I don't. Yeah. And then that could make you stand up. But because Mm. Your CV is so similar to mine, mm -hmm. you and I will both fail, okay. which is not a good thing. Okay. But if you have something unique, you might actually get a higher paying job than I have, you know, because of that one tiny thing that you have it in your CV. Unique, yeah, yeah it could yeah. make you very unique and go yeah. very far. But when people come to you and say, oh, can, I have, can we have a copy of your CV? Can I get a copy yeah. of your CV? And we just, no, <laughs> yeah. no good. So, I was like, that's my <laughs> I don't know any of it because yeah, I, honest, I remember my CV and mm. how it looked mm. and it's dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> May I rest in peace. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not offering like, I'm not going to be like, oh, do yeah, this, do yeah. that because I know how shit was my uh, was. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah so, I'm like, dude. Uh, another challenge you had? Another challenge. Uh, because I won't be able to relate to you, Janice, and <laughs> see how the. I said, I had one challenge. It was like one of my friends asked me what I was currently doing because I was too busy to hang out with them. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I didn't have the heart to say, I'm doing this because I didn't want to advertise anything. Okay. Because they are, you know, you never know. People you are people. Know. Of course, yeah. yeah. I so I was like, oh, I'm just too busy nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> and I met her on Friday after work and I was like oh I've been doing this job that's why I was busy she did not blame me <laughs> she was like oh no that, that cannot be true <laughs> yeah she was like, I was like yep yeah, you keep saying that uh, and I'll keep going up <laughs> I'll look at you from like on top of the stairs I'll be like how are you doing down there <laughs> so yeah but no you should always just aim really high in life do you not sit down and expect the gold plate exactly yeah that that's is the best expect. yeah <laughs> Like, if that existed, man wouldn't be here, I promise I you. Know, I know. <laughs> so, yeah, do it. Exactly, yeah. anyone can do it. Mm. But yeah, mm. apply yourself. Mm. That's the key point, you know. In anything you ever do in life, just apply yourself to the fullest. Yeah. You either fail, you fail, you learn from that mistake. Failure okay. is not a weakness. Of course. It's just what makes you stronger. And, so, yeah. and they say failure is part of a success because really you is. don't reach the success unless you fail. Yeah, exactly. I told you my yeah. halo with my virtual box. Oh my god, the first time I was creating that, I hated it. And now, yeah. whenever I get home from work, I just go on it to just play around with it and see what yeah. I can do with it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Let's come to the future. Mm -hmm. Where do you see yeah. uh, yourself in next uh, Canada, of course? Uh, <laughs> Uh, next maybe four years, five years, three years. To be honest, um, you should never tell at the time you go. However, um, inshallah, hence, <laughs> hence uh, a bigger platform. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm hoping to be in a bigger platform, finish your courses, mm -hmm. and then yeah. <laughs> So IT is a huge um, problem at the moment. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, people do not blank a job. We can say in IT, I mean, how many of them are going to this? No, you have. They don't see man, how uh, big IT is. And yeah. Um, uh, uh, so in the future, there's a cloud, there's a kind of um, mm -hmm. cyber security, there's uh, networking, yeah. there's uh, AI, machine learning, mm -hmm. there's uh, coding, mm -hmm. web development, database. Yeah. So what do you see yourself in the future? Man? Would you like to go to uh, CloudRoot or definitely. to Netflix? Or right now it's cloud that's all that's on my mind mm. however it's not a four years goal 
I'm a crazy girl, and I know for a fact it's crazy. Don't think it's another two months. <laughs> no, it's not two months, luckily. But hopefully, at the beginning of next year, inshallah. Beginning of next year. Yeah, that's so you why be... you need to get out. Your course is much faster. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you too slow. I know, I know, I know. I want to see a lot of people like Ma'na Zuhaib, mashallah, to finish the courses in a short time and get a job. And hopefully, you can, you yeah. can do that because uh, six months is from now. Yeah, uh, definitely. Maybe seven months. Yeah. yeah. Definitely not four years, though. No, four years. No, no four years. But even the club itself, I mean, the ahab are in the club. Yeah. You can get a junior position, you can get a senior position, you can go to yeah. consultant, you can. In architect. four years, I'll be the architecture of cloud. Yeah. That's the aim. Earning good money, yeah? Earning good money. Yeah, but don't forget about me then. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be coming back to help students, so. <laughs> yeah, definitely. definitely I have to time. pay the debt that was paid to me. Yeah. <laughs> there was Layla, there was Hamdi. Like, yeah. you know, I have so much debt that I have to pay forward to the other students who come here. And قبل ما نتي الحمد لله عندي فرصة في عنا جت قرابل لد الوقف قال زي كم نقضي ومثلا تقيب كأ and that كل هو هو اللي عندي تقيب وين كخات بلوجي is like في دوسز في معناها فيديوز motivation she did three videos ما شاء الله she motivated she had big معناها speech at our conferences and that's how a lot of girls معناها joined and then after that Hamdi she's a great one ما شاء الله she had a lot of people one to one her video was one of the best videos uh, another Muna, uh, so uh, Muna uh, Muhammad, uh, Muna Abdulwali, another of his uh, videos, great videos on our YouTube, mashallah. Uh, the people who work behind the scene, like Layla, uh, yeah. she helped Manaha Zuhair quite a lot. So there are a lot of Manaha girls or in the Definitely. global uh, so you net, shouldn't be afraid. And yes, uh, Yasmin Okale is another girl, Manaha works with, uh, of course, Manaha Marhaba Layla. So a lot of them are coming soon, inshallah. Yeah. And I want uh, so many Somali sisters yeah. to join the tech sector. Yeah, and they're all willing to help. So you won't be the first Somali sister to be in a room of entrepreneurs. There, mm -hmm. there are some before you. Mm -hmm. And you will have that help and that guidelines like mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. So, inshallah, I'll be the helping someone very soon. Inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. But we mentioned Hadaya because uh, why IT is good for them because we have a little actor, we have a little flexibility. You get to stay at home. Working from home, mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of things. Is there yeah. anything else we need to add? And how what makes uh, IT attractive for the girls? To be honest, I think IT is more for girls than guys, even though it's a guy's world at the, the moment. Yeah. Okay. What <laughs> makes you believe that? Because I feel like one, us girls are much smarter than the boys. And, like, literally. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, because of society and the upbringings that we have, uh -huh. I feel like a lot of girls are told from a young age to hold back and let the boys go forward. Uh, which is what makes the girls how they are today. But if they actually mm -hmm. had that encouragement, they would be very far in life. Mm -hmm. And plus, you get to work from home. Mm -hmm. Like, even if you can't come into work, just give them your reason and they'll be like, they're very understanding. Mm -hmm. They don't care what you do as long as you do the job for them. Mm -hmm. You know? They want to keep you. You're a treasure to them. Mm -hmm. So if you say you can't come in, it's okay. Work from home. You know? There's no pressure. There's nothing. Which I feel like a lot of girls will benefit from because there are some families who would think, oh, you're working between guys, that's not good, Islamically, that's not good, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. There are ways around it. Mm -hmm. Like, everything, like, it's not just the block, you know? Mm -hmm. There are ways around that block, but it's mm -hmm. just being smart and coming up with the idea mm -hmm. and then applying it, mm -hmm. so yeah. Um, of course, in the tech sector, because, uh, yeah, it's mixed environment, uh, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's correct, but IT is the least mixed environment, to be honest, because if you go to warehouse, if you go mm -hmm. to retail, if you go to other places, are uh, more mixed, yeah? Yeah, but that's and what parents don't understand. Yeah, IT yeah, is the least here, one. They hear IT, yeah. and then they, they think of voice straight away. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> Which is not the case. Yeah, it's completely and, different. And of course, uh, you can work from home. Tell me another job that allows you to work from home. I'm not talking about the management. I'm not talking about senior level. I'm talking about the junior level. Yeah, yeah. I have a prayer room in our building. See? And I was so amazed. I was yeah. like, oh, wow, they actually have a prayer room. Yeah. At first, I was expecting no prayer room. But okay. these people have prepared everything. They just want you to come and work for them. And this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, because I believe uh, the concept of Hadi Qaf Taraga Adisti, of course, Qaf Taraga Adisti, but Hadi Qaf Dumar Adisto, who had the whole nation. 
Hopefully she will break my record or another sister will, but mm. inshallah is another girl who mm. breaks the record. Mm. That would be very nice to see. So do you have an actual physical data center or you use Malaha the, the cloud? You don't move from this chair. Okay. <laughs> you don't. You do everything on the yeah, computer basically. Yeah, everything on the computer. You mm. literally get access to, mm. from, for example, like Interviewer. They have this little password which mm. you can use to access their computer. Mm. And you fiddle around on the computer, on your computer, you don't even get to see them face to face. Mm -hmm. You can be talking to anyone mm -hmm. in a different place mm -hmm. or a different country. But it's very, like I said, it's very easy. I got that question for you because the Gabaha and Madaska Karatao here, I'm saying, I tell the Kashakani said, Mantle, you deal with the computers, open the computer, fix this one, like, uh, like the, the picture, the imagine, the hardest, something like that, the yeah. hardest, which is not the case. Honest, okay, to be honest, I opened my first computer, when was it, last week? Last week? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. on Saturday, mm -hmm. when I came to collect the books. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They told me, I wasn't here, but they told me. Yeah. <laughs> It was so easy. Like, when I say it was easy, like it was a piece of cake, man. Mm. And I was like, just took everything out, built it back together, and I closed it for you. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like just seeing the insides of it, mm -hmm. there's not much to it. Mm. There's like at least like seven, eight parts to it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, mm. it's gone and dusted. Mm -hmm. So if you're imagining that, mm. come here. Open up a computer, put it back together, mm -hmm. and then you know you can do anything. By the way, when I saw how easy it was, I couldn't believe it. I thought there was something wrong with the computer. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting so many wires, so many parts, uh, but there was nothing. And I was that, like, that is the fear, right? Uh, that will stop us from being able to, to do the, the Yeah, but the only way activities. you can overcome that fear is by do doing it. Yeah, doing do it. it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, but, yeah. of course. Okay, what are the main attributes of your success or what are the main factors uh, of, your, of your success? I, for me personally, it would definitely be you and this whole school, the environment of it, the easy books that you gave us, which is all bullet points, right to the basics. I would say my family as well, <laughs> like the encouragement I got from them, even though it wasn't a lot. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely there on that platform, and um, but I'm still learning. I'm still a student, and inshallah, I have a long road ahead of me to get to where I need to be. So inshallah, once I get to cloud, I'll definitely come back here, and you can re-interview me. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, I'm calling. <laughs> so yeah, when yeah. I get there, I'll say, okay, I'm ready now. <laughs> you can come and interview me. Yeah, mashallah. And I'm happy your family to be part of a success because they motivated you, they yeah. encouraged you to be on the course, of course, uh, and that emotional support is mm -hmm. important. Not Definitely. only financial, but I'm talking about the emotional support. Yeah. Because At first, my mom didn't believe me though, but <laughs> she came around very quickly. <laughs> She's on board. Yeah, mashallah. But, um, yeah, go on. Yeah, I would say to parents, do not hold your kids back because mm. you will be so proud of them once okay. they reach such a high place. You'll be going around saying, That's my child. Like, I'm hoping my parents are watching this and they'll be of like, course, Yeah, that's inshallah. my child. <laughs> have no right to deny me right now <laughs> so, yeah. but no i think the, the core problem is the somali parents right now okay. i would say do not hold back your son your daughters like push them mm. even if they want to do something else push them into the it because mm. voila they'll thank you for it okay that, so, yeah. that's good mashallah and only not only you go had the degree based on something yeah, science, different yeah. your science, <laughs> and now you're doing it so mm -hmm. even if you did a degree in another discipline another 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 area of yeah. course you can move to IT and I have seen people, accountants, I have seen yeah. uh, lawyers, I have seen um, other other sectors joining the mm -hmm. sector because I mean, if you're saying I did another degree, that's just an excuse to hold yourself mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. That's not a real reason. <laughs> I mean, IT, of course, you don't have even to have a degree. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I 
love it. I love it. <laughs> and people who work with you, of course, I uh, love them they, having you in tech sector. Yeah, they don't, which is so surprising. Yeah. And I found myself showing one of my colleagues something very basic. Mm -hmm. And I was like so impressed with myself. I was like, Fashion. yay. <laughs> Just the satisfaction when you know the basics mm -hmm. is beautiful. So, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so that was a great uh, interview with Engineer Zuhair, who managed Ooh. to get her first IT job within <laughs> two weeks. I'm yeah. an engineer now, guys. Do uh, so you hear that? Well, I'm an engineer. Engineer Zuhair. Engineer. Engineer Zuhair. <laughs> Tell everyone the Google oh, no. to call you. I've earned the title. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mashallah. Well done. Well done. I'm proud of you, mashallah. Oh, thank you. Everyone here, yeah. proud of you, mashallah. Yeah. So that means we are coming to the end of the session. Mm -hmm. And alhamdulillah, we had a great session uh, with you, Zuhair. Thank and you. Thank you for coming. I know it's uh, weekend. It's you had a lot of plans. Yeah. <laughs> and you were short notice. Uh, yeah, it really was. When I called you. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know if I wanted to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I was so scared. I was like, what is he going to ask me? I have nothing to say, but yeah. Yeah, so Alhamdulillah, you attended, you came here, well done. And uh, hopefully, when you move up, mm -hmm, definitely. Uh, maybe another year, two years, whatever, yeah. you'll be here with us again. Inshallah. Uh, with better, yeah. kind of, uh, better money, of course. Yeah, better money. Uh, high position. Yeah, high position. And Inshallah, we'll And a lot of experience uh, to tell you guys about. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. So till I see you next time, inshallah, we'll have a good time here. Fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.